Hello you guys, it is your girl Eternal Film and I am back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius, summarizing Venus North Node or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video if it resonates, comment down below for the vibe and subscribe, and if the reading will resonate today, maybe next time. Let's see what Holy Spirit has for you today. Important messages for the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Sit down, please. Sit down. Let's see. All right, important message from the spirit for the sign of Aquarius. Cleanse this reading from any negative energy that may try to interfere with these messages. Six of Wands in reverse. Nine of Swords. Seven of Coins. Star in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the world in reverse. Oh my goodness. Somebody is embarrassed they got rejected. I don't know if they got rejected by you or they just got rejected for something. This could have been, I'm hearing spoke too soon. So I don't know if somebody, it's probably gonna be a short message. Um, I, I don't know why it feels like somebody spoke too soon about something. This could even be somebody bragging about something like, yeah, I'm about to get this whip. Or they could even be like saying they got something before they got it. Um, this is a little bit of an embarrassment energy. Somebody here is like bragging and I'm getting, it ended up falling through. I feel like with the star card though, I feel like somebody's now feeling hopeless and feeling like giving up on life because they're embarrassed. Um, they feel like they lost or they're comparing, they may be comparing their success to you, especially if they see things happening for you, coming in for you. Um, this definitely could have been energy that tried to copy you, tried to be like you tried to mimic you or they wanted to stun on you or whatever case or they could even try to downplay your success but you're a lot more successful than they are or it just seems that way to whoever this is this is somebody who was definitely flossing and dossing okay um but they got rejected it didn't work um they didn't get the support they were looking for i'm also getting as well like somebody actually got backlash from whatever they did um, and it's giving embarrassment. It's giving secondhand embarrassment. It's giving this person got embarrassed in front of a group of people or they could have did this online and they got embarrassed. Okay, yeah, and it makes somebody very bitter. Queen of Swords in reverse. They're angry, they're bitter. Or this could have been somebody online, like um, I'm hearing commentary. So maybe somebody left a comment on something or somebody let like commented on something or somebody posted about something. Like somebody got like a podcast or something like that or somebody tries to do this. Maybe they're trying to do a podcast or somebody is trying to do something revolving around like spoken word. I don't know, but I feel like it's kind of like a mimicking energy. Like maybe you are the type of person who likes to like give feedback but you're like somebody who gives really good advice and you could have maybe you do this for a living or you could be the type of person where like you just help people when you can I don't know it's, it's kind of like a copying energy like I feel like somebody does it but like they lack communication skills because the queen of swords is usually somebody who's really good at communication but I feel like with her being in reverse it could be somebody who is very harsh with their words and they feel like if they come off gangsta or they come off ratchet or they come off loud or negative that, that makes them a very good communicator, but I'm getting no. Nah. This could even be somebody quote unquote saying they real, but they really rude and reckless, um, very disrespectful. Um, and I feel like you could have been dealing with somebody who was trying to like, you know, sound intelligent or like they were trying to comment on something and they 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 sounded like they were ignorant versus intelligent. Um, and I feel like somebody's embarrassed. They got a lot of backlash. They said something, and some of y'all, of course, you could be the type of person who you know. You could be the outsider, the one who just shares very controversial input on things. And people, you know, people may disagree to agree with you. But a lot of the times you be on point with what you be saying or something like that. And you could have been dealing with somebody who wanted to like vibrate in that same energy, but they embarrassed themselves because they sounded ignorant. 
And I feel like that. I feel like somebody here is now feeling... I don't know if they were trying to say something negative about you. Yeah, nine of coins. Like, your independence is really bothering somebody. Because they could have said a lot of things about you. I don't know. Like I said, they could have been downplaying your success or talking like talking negatively about your gift maybe they said you weren't gifted maybe they said yo your gift was bull or it's fake but i feel like a lot of people are like no nah, this person is dope or you could be dealing with somebody where like if you were i don't know what you do with your arts and crafts it feels like something about your craft something about your ability something about your talents something about what you're doing and some of y'all talents is something as easy as being able to get through something that somebody else would have broke so I feel like a lot of times we try to limit things to like a certain group of things, but like this could even be you being able to overcome a heartbreak and somebody else, it would have broke them and it would have ruined their whole life just because somebody left them. You know, that is a real skill. Strength is a mind thing, not just a, a, a tough thing. And that's where people get it messed up. I feel like a lot of y'all, you have mental strength. You may have mental clarity and that is a gift. That is a talent because you have to master that. That means that you've been through things in your life that could have broke you, but you've learned from them, you've grew from them, and it has made you stronger. And you could be dealing with people who maybe downplayed it. Maybe they made it seem like you wasn't really, you didn't have no skills or you didn't have no talents because they tried to limit you to like a certain group or a certain idea of what success looks like. And I always tell people success is whatever it is that you make it. So if you feel like you are successful and all you is is sitting at home reading books all day and you know you get up and you have your routine and you come back home and that makes you feel successful then you are it is all what you look what it looks like to you it, comfort is what it looks like to you um and i feel like you could be dealing with somebody who downplayed that maybe they was trying to flex on you high sign you but there's a little bit of an energy feeling like hopeless like oh i just want to give up on life because they over here flexing and dawson but in reality they're feeling very unsuccessful Somebody is definitely comparing themselves to you. Um, they feel like you're a lot more successful than they are. Um, just because, like I said, this this is everything to do with how somebody felt about themselves. And they limited you like they limited themselves. And so it's crazy. Oh, my goodness. It's so crazy because I swear to God. Excuse me. I'm telling y'all. I literally, before I begin on these videos, I get channel messages. And it's crazy because I was scrolling earlier. And it was a lady talking about, was it a lady or a man? <sighs> but they were talking about how, darn, I lost it. It'll come back. But I definitely feel like this is somebody here in your life here who, they kind of expected like success to look like one way because of how they were taught and your success was something totally different or very taboo or this could have been something they thought was not important you know how some people don't believe that artists are true people who have a real talent because they're artists and because they're not an engineer or something like that which is actually a form of art um they try to make it seem like oh um you're not important because you're not an engineer or you're not a doctor or you're, or you're not a teacher or something like that so they try to make it seem like like your gift your talents are not valid and I feel like that. I feel like somebody tried to invalidate you. Like somebody tried to humble you. Yeah, now I'm remembering it. I remember it. Where um, this lady was talking about how her friend um, was um, asking her why she don't get her nails done. And she's like, because I'm a pianist. And I like to keep my nails short and, and clean because I don't, you know, I, I play the piano. And her friend downplayed it like, you're not a professional pianist. Like, you're not going out there and performing in front of thousands of people. So you're not considered a pianist. But she's like, yes, I am because I've been playing since I was five years old. I'm very excellent at it. I may have not taken up, you know, went after it in school. But this is something that I do on a daily like, I'm considered a pianist, but people will try to humble you. They will try to make you feel like you don't fit into a certain, um, you don't fit into this, this, this box or whatever, this group, because you didn't do it professionally. That's like calling somebody dumb because they don't have a degree. You know how many people are intelligent that does not have degrees? You know how many people who are geniuses that didn't go to college? Do you know that? And I feel like a lot of people try to limit people based off of, social experiences or what they quote unquote say um statistics like and i feel like you could have been dealing with somebody like that somebody's like oh you're not smart you didn't go to college oh you're not a pianist you didn't play professionally like 
Like that's what I'm that's what I'm getting. You're not an artist. I've never seen your work. Like who the hell are you to tell me who I am? But like somebody tried to write you off, downplay your success, and now they're mad because you're more successful than them. And I feel like it's a mindset though. Somebody feels like you won because you make better choices than them. Definitely if you're dealing with somebody who's still going through these same struggles, they're desperate to be accepted. They're desperate to be loved. They're desperate to be liked. And they feel like, how dare you walk out here like you're better than me and I have more degrees than you or I have went to college or I'm older than you, you know? And I feel like somebody who's humbled with the Six of Wands in reverse simply because they tried to make you look dumb or they tried to downplay something. Some of y'all, they went as far as copying you and they failed. So something that they tried to downplay or discredit, they found out that it's not actually easy. That's like that person like who was with the piano situation where you could sit here and say, I'm not a pianist, but can you play the piano? Can you? Let me hear you play. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? I feel like that. I feel like that. I feel like somebody tried to like play it like, yeah, it's not all that. You're not all that. But let me see you do it. Let me see you get it done. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you make better choices than this person or you've made better decisions with your life simply because of how you think. That's a mindset. I feel like you told this person, I don't need your approval. I don't need your acceptance. I know who I am and you don't have that right to tell me who I am. So that's just what this is giving. Yeah, I'm telling you, judgment in reverse. It was a self, it was an inner thing. This is somebody who lacks accountability. They can't really see themselves. They project a lot. And I feel like because of that, somebody simply just downplayed you just because people in their life told them who they were. And that's why you can be dealing with somebody who's a show off with the seven of coins. They like to prove that they're worthy, worthy because of all the things that they have. And if they say, if they go through something challenging in their life and they lose their house, they lose their car to them, that's everything. So if they lose their house, they're like, I'm worthless. I'm nothing. Nobody's going to love me if I don't have a house. Nobody's going to respect me if I don't have a car. Nobody's going to treat me with respect or love me because I don't have degrees. And people really, you'll be amazed how many people think like this. And there's a lot of people in today's society who gets on social media and they vent and they say all of these negative things about today's dating, dating scenery, how nobody wants to be with somebody who has more than one children or a child, or nobody wants to be with somebody who has this many bodies, or nobody wants to be with someone who doesn't have a degree or who's not making six, six uh, figures every year. It's like... Where are y'all living? Like, I've been kind of confused because that's how you know the difference from people who are actually living their life and living vicariously through others. Because there are so many people who have not even had these experiences who are commenting on things, lives that they never lived. But because their mama went through that or their grandmother went through that, they're out here giving commentary on situations they have never encountered. Where are y'all living? Okay, because I've been hearing things about people in these relationships. They talk about how they can't find a good man or they can't find a, find a good woman because everybody is wanting these expectations. And it's like, well, then maybe you are just requiring little or you're settling for less. Okay, good morning. Go sit down, okay? Okay, well, go change your shirt then. Um, No, go take it off in there, please. In your room. Go take it off in your room and put another shirt on. Um, but there's a lot of people who try to paint these pictures that like life is so so horrible or the dating scene is so terrible when in reality it's like, yes, there's a lot of shallow people out there, but it's really perception, y'all. If you will stop settling for less than you deserve, you'll stop getting less than you deserve. The only reason why a lot of people are going through the things that they're going through is because they don't want to take accountability. You need to stop allowing yourself to believe that you are less valuable if you don't meet up to a standard.
that somebody has placed on you. If you feel good about the phases that you are in your life and you love yourself for who you are and you know that, yes, you are going to be a work in progress, there is nothing you have to prove to anybody. A person can't tell you, oh, you over here expecting a good man or a good woman, but you you don't have a car or you working on something. It's like, okay, well, if you feel like you're missing something in your life before you want to start dating, then yes, because I do believe in alignment. If you are expecting to call in a lover who is stable and secure, yeah, you probably should have those things going for yourself. I do believe in that. But to sit here and say that I'm going to settle for this guy or this woman just because this is where I am in my life when you know you aspire to have more. Maybe you just need to wait, be a little more patient, work on yourself so that you can get to that place so that you can call that energy in. And then it's like a lot of times, you know, like I said, we just have to stop allowing people to tell us who we are or limit us to a certain group just based off of our past, our history, because it does not make our future. It doesn't. And a lot of people try to say, well, yeah, because people have felonies, credit, whatever the case is. But that's a systematic thing. It was built that way to keep people poor. Let's be real. And I'm not about to go there right now because I'm not about to get into that. But it's a systematic case because they need to keep people poor and some people rich. And the only way to do that is to is to tie you to your credit or tie you to a felony. Let's be real. A lot of people change their lives. They get better and they move on with their lives. But they still have this stamp on them telling them they're not good enough because it keeps them poor and it keeps them in poverty. But you have those people who break the code, crack the code, which is you're not going to tell me who I am. You're not going to tell me what I'm capable of doing. There are so many people out there like that who think like that, who actually do break this systematic or what is it called? Stereotype. And they actually do accomplish a lot more in their life than what was given to them. So I feel like a lot of people just focused on the negatives instead of just taking accountability and fixing their life. Okay, and you can say it's chance all you want to, but it's really accountability. Yeah, I'm telling you, eight of swords in reverse. This is somebody feeling hopeless, lost, and stuck, but they're not stuck. They're not trapped. It's like somebody's car breaking down and they still got a nine to five or they still got a career. They still got a house. Go to work and get another one. Of course, it's not easier said than done. It takes time. It takes discipline. But a lot of the problems that we go through really for one teaches something. It teaches us something. And some of y'all, I feel like somebody here wants to inspire to be like you. Like you could be, like I said, the type of person who really don't let people tell you who you are. You could really care less about how a person feels. You're going to do what really makes you feel good. And you was dealing with somebody who's a people pleaser. But to the point where they, they have to like degrade other people to make themselves feel good and they were humbled because they needed to learn that lesson they need this is somebody who wants to aspire to be like you but they don't want to go through the challenges or the experiences that's what i'm getting with downplaying where somebody downplayed your experience downplayed your gift downplayed your ability to accomplish something and then you accomplish it but then they're like it's nothing it's nothing but then they go through that and they're folding they're freaking feeling hopeless and lost and oh, oh, oh. but did you ask for this? You said it was nothing. So spirit is like, okay, well, let me put you in Aquarius' shoes. And they be, they got put in your shoes and it humbled them. Okay. Now somebody has learned, yeah, I gotta give credit where it's due. Because this is taking me through some changes. I can only imagine. But somebody is now discovering the gift like no this is this is a real skill here so and that's justice what i'm telling you that's justice because like i said karma comes for everybody and a lot of people look at karma as a bad thing but it's really just a lesson and i feel like it's, it's like somebody here had to learn a lesson a valuable one that you don't judge a book by its cover um if you really don't know what you're talking about then you should probably just because a lot of things they say lacking understanding. A lot of people lack understanding. And, and, and instead of seeing things, because people really, this is a gift as well. It is a talent to be able to see yourself and see others. Like when you can only, when you can call a person out and you can use a sermon like, oh yeah, that's, that's not right. Something about this person is off. But it is a real gift when you can see yourself. Because a lot of people can't see themselves. 
they can only see the error in other people's ways but not the error in their own ways and somebody is realizing now like it took you a lot of mental strength spiritual clarity to really overcome a lot of the things that you overcame so yeah tower i'm telling you and it all came crumbling down they're going through a tower but it's going to teach them a lesson though trust me they'll get over this yeah queen of coins they'll get over this i'm also getting as well like so you you all of a sudden got successful or all of a sudden you have money now or all of a sudden you you're stable and they they are just in complete shock the devil in reverse yeah i feel like you have no attachments some of y'all you could have lost weight or excuse me you're not addicted to anything you're not stuck i'm asking as well you're natural naturally beautiful or naturally healthy or there's something about you where like yeah somebody just thought they knew everything the high priestess in reverse they didn't see the bigger picture i'm also getting as well like this could have been a yeah the will of fortune in reverse yeah somebody here is going through a lot of misfortunes in their life and they feel like you got the last laugh. Even if you're not in their life. Yeah, the moon, I'm telling you. They're, it's crazy because somebody's fear is to see you be successful. Because they said you wasn't going to be shit. Okay. Yeah, somebody sees you working and that's justice. Because they're going to see you receive a lot of support. Yeah, in due time. In due time, you're going to receive a lot of support. So if you didn't get it from your mother, your father, your friend, your family, your cousin... They're about this their karma is seeing you get a lot of support see you getting a lot of support see you getting a lot of love from people and people congratulating you and telling you you're gifted yeah i'm getting somebody withheld kindness from you because their mother did it to them there yeah this is they, yeah because i could pick up this person's energy this is somebody here who kindness was withheld from them so they just was returning the favor and i'm getting they found out real fast yeah yeah you're gonna get a lot of love and it's crazy because that's like their biggest fear. Their biggest fear is you surpassing them in life. Because, and it's sad because hopefully this is not apparent, but it's sad because I feel like this person wanted this for themselves when they were a child, but their family didn't believe in them. And I'm getting, they did that to you because they're like, I know you're going to be something great, but I'm going to belittle you or humble you because I don't want you to be what I've never had the guts to do with my life or yeah, somebody didn't have the guts to be different. You are, and now they wanted, they tried every chance they could to keep you small. And I'm getting you, you freed yourself, you left, you're gone, and you're evolving. Yeah, King of Swords is in reverse. Shaman card in reverse. Yeah, like I said, this person could could have got married too. Like somebody could have got married or gotten a relationship with somebody who's feeding, who's enabling their narcissism. So somebody's a narcissist or somebody is very like somebody's dealing with mental illness or somebody is a liar. Somebody they got married or gotten a relationship with somebody who's feeding their narcissism or feeding their lot, feeding them lies, enabling their toxic narcissistic behavior or just enabling their behavior. They married this person or got in a relationship with this person and <sighs> yeah, they may even have a baby with this person, a baby on the way with this person. Um, yeah, King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. But I'm getting, they're still arguing and fighting over this person's love for you. So if this is your ex, I'm getting them and their partner is copying you out, you know, arguing about who's smarter and who's better and whose life is better and i'm getting your yeah this is your ex some of y'all this is your ex um they got with somebody married somebody and they're arguing about how this person still cares about you and i'm getting you left you're gone but somebody tried to downplay you like you wasn't nothing. I'm getting you really was. But I'm getting they didn't have support in their life. I'm getting you could have supported them. But they did everything they could to downplay you or, or make you feel small. So you're gone. Yeah, relocation. You could have relocated, moved away from this person. Or you're just moving on with your life. Some of y'all, this is confirmation that you need to relocate. Some of y'all, this person could have moved in with a home wrecker. 
but that was all a part of the plan here. So yeah, I'm getting somebody moved in or moved on with somebody else. They thought that that person had more purpose in their life. Shut that refrigerator issue. Can can go sit down. The water is in there. The water is in there. Yeah. But yeah, this is confirmation here. What's confirmation, Holy Spirit? Sudden change, <laughs> I'm telling you. Sudden change, confrontation denied. Yeah, this is confirmation that they're still arguing and fighting over you guys because they feel like the person your ex is with feels like, you know, um, they still care about you or they're in denial about their feelings about you. They're arguing. I'm also getting as well with the relocation. If this person doesn't know where you live, this their this new person is 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 like realizing that this person is still trying to get information on you, find you. Yeah, and I feel like with the genuine supporters, you just have a lot of support. You got a lot of support coming in. Could be dealing with an older man or an older woman. You are being invited to a celebration. What's this? Be careful, because I feel like somebody might send you a, a, a friend request or somebody may try to invite you out. They could be in poverty or homelessness. Um, whoever they're with, yeah, you got the green light. Some of y'all, I don't know if you work with the needy. I see you going to an organization to give back. What is this? Stand up for yourself, a sibling. Yeah, some of y'all, like I said, this could be family members with the stand up for yourself. Some of y'all, you finally stood up to a family member and you got tired of them running their mouth or you got tired of being ignorant. They feel silly because I feel like they got bad, like they got a bad, a lot of pushback. So if this was a family member who tried to come up against you and I'm getting everybody else turned on this person, like you need to stop or why are you so mad? This person is dope. They didn't do nothing to you. So I'm getting, you had a family member who was talking bad about you and everybody else was like, bro, you need to chill. Royal DNA and karma. Yeah, their karma is to see you be royal. These people are hurt because they just did not believe that you would be successful. They may try to reach out to you, communicate with you, but your guides are telling you that's a red flag. Because with the custody issues, not your person yet, your ex is going to be mad because you don't want to be with them and they're going to try to cause custody issues. Um, because they feel like you're gaining fortune, you're getting money. Somebody gonna feel like you coming into money. Yeah, they didn't believe in you. They gonna feel like you coming into money, so they need to like block you. And it says envious people showing you fake love, copying you out for themselves. Younger man, younger woman who was a narcissist. I told you I was picking up on a narcissist. You're dealing with somebody who's a narcissist, who's very envious of you. They was trying to copy you. They got in a relationship with that person, them and a person was copying you and. They tried to do the same thing you was doing. As soon as I pick up the deck, it says, know your worth. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, you know your worth. You turned away from people, places, things, jobs, situations, because they didn't respect you. This is people coming into your life telling you, I'm not about to give you love and respect and loyalty because who do you think you are? I'm me. This is what I require. If you cannot give me that, deuces. I don't care if your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your sister, and they settle for it and they feel bad. That's why people was attacking you. They were attacking you because they felt bad about settling. Not because you was doing something wrong. I'm getting they, they try to downplay you or make you feel like you wasn't all of that. Or some of y'all, they was trying to make you feel ugly, make you feel stupid, like you wasn't all of that. Because they felt insecure about the fact that your, that literally, your actions called them out. You saying, no, I'm not going to be with somebody who's abusive. Called your sister out who's, who's still dealing with an abusive woman or abusive man. You 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 called out somebody because you're like, no, I quit that job because they wasn't trying to pay me what I worth. And I'm trying to move up in the ladder and they ain't trying to give me what I work. And somebody could have been like, okay, but you still need a job. So you just going to quit your job? I mean, you going to be broke. Okay, well, I'd rather be broke and struggling before I be at a job that don't respect me. Period. And somebody's like... Uh, I can't mess with you because you can, yeah, I can make this up. Progress is better than no progress. You could have been dating somebody who felt like because you wasn't making top notch dollars and you was working on something or maybe you was working on opening your own business or you were working on a project and it was small at first, but you seen yourself growing and they're like, see, no, I can't be with nobody that, that got to start at the bottom. Like somebody was thinking that you were supposed to just wake up at the top and I'm getting, no, it took a process and I'm getting, they weren't, they weren't willing to wait on that. They just didn't believe in you, honestly. They didn't believe you would be the one to make it shine. Yeah, so Spirit says, be with the ones who help you shine. I'm getting, you're about to. You're about to come into a group or come into an environment where people are going to support you every step of the way. Yeah, date more. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, some of y'all, like I said, I feel like people are, are expressing themselves based off of experiences they've never had. And I feel like for some of y'all, 
even if you have been through some things in your life when it comes to your dating life, that is not everybody. I feel like the moment you stop settling, that is when you'll be opened up to people who really is on your frequency, really is on your vibe. The people you ran into with the past is people you settled for because you had people like your friends, your mama, your cousin, or your ex telling you it wasn't better out there. Now you're about to see like, oh, wait a minute. Here's a whole nother side of life that I've been missing out on because I've been listening to these fools tell me who I am. Tell me what I'm worth. Yeah, it says have courage. Y'all gotta be strong, man. Practice fasting. Discipline. Practice discipline. A form of self-love is discipline. Give love. Continue to give love. Don't let nobody speak fear over your life and tell you everybody's hateful. The world is hateful. Everything is terrible. No, you got to change your perception of life. Show more gratitude. Man, I can't make these readings up. Show more gratitude. Be grateful. Be brave. I'm getting even if nobody supports you, even if everybody in the world has this mentality, but I know they don't. It's only a, a, some of y'all. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting the love is just so I mean, the hate is just so thick that it, it crowds out how much love and support it is. There are so many good people out here. There's so many people out here trying to vibe with you, get with you. But how the media portrays it. And that's why we have to live based off of our experiences, y'all. There is a lot of people in the media and that's how it's designed to keep negativity, hate toxicity out there so a lot of people changes their perception they believe based off of what they see off of other people's experiences online that the world is a hateful place when in reality it's not i don't wake up every day and, and the mailman i come outside he not mugging me i say hello how are you they say hello back and we go about our life every day in my life i do not encounter hate y'all i rarely do i rarely encounter hate y'all rarely and if i do feel something off somebody's energy a lot of the times it'd be based off of a trigger that i may need to deal with because something they said or did trigger me and then later on i have a second encounter with that person if i ever do and i realize they're nothing that i thought they were we have to change our minds but you gotta be brave enough to do it I will not allow you to label me into something that I don't believe in. You don't have to believe what everybody believes. You don't have to subscribe to what everybody else subscribes to. Take the higher road. This is just, this is the problem. I'm getting my chills. People don't want to take the higher road. And the higher road is taking accountability. This is your perception. This is you not allowing yourself to heal and grow outdated thinking, outdated situations. You're not trying to evolve on outdated relationships, outdated friendships, outdated family situations. You're not trying to move from one location to another location so that you can see that the world is a lot bigger than where you are. Maybe it's your environment. Or maybe it's your mentality. Everybody out here ain't hateful. Everybody out here ain't gonna play you. Everybody out here ain't gonna rob you. No, everybody is not like that. You gotta believe in yourself. You may want things and you may have this whole vision for your life. But when you think about it, like when I moved into this place, I had this huge vision of what I was going to do. And when I moved in here, I felt at peace. Before I moved in here, I was rushing to get to a place in my life where I felt like I was going to be successful. But when I got in here, I actually felt like I accomplished a big goal. And even though it was my goal to get stable housing, I had more for myself in my mind. And when I got to this place, it was like a calming came over me. Like a, what I, whatever it is that I'm envisioning in my mind to what peace feels like to me, this is my peace. But the mindset that I had in my mind because of the environment that I was in, I was in an environment where they were like 
talking at us, making us feel low about the situations that we were in. And a lot of that could have been from my own perception. But when I kept dealing with them, I kept realizing that when I was sitting with all of the other women in the same situation as me, and a lot of them had that mentality like, yeah, I just want to have this and I want to have that because, you know, I'd have been through some shit. And, you know, they just wanted to be the biggest and baddest thing because they was going through something and they wanted to prove everybody wrong about what they felt about them. And I, I started to, you know, take over. That started to take over me. Like, yeah, I just want to prove to everybody that I'm not a failure. I just want to prove to everybody that whatever it is that I'm going through my life, I'm going to overcome. But then I got in this place and I said, I don't want to tell nobody nothing. I want to thank God. I want to sit in this and I want to soak in it because I feel so grateful. I feel so grateful. I feel so grateful. And I just, I, whatever I thought before... I don't even care. I don't. I'm so thankful. Like, I don't even care to tell anybody the blessings God has put in my life because I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm done proving myself. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. I'm done proving myself. I believe I am successful. It's time to release this person. It's time to release this place. It's time to release this mindset. It's time to release that. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you feel the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.